And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. Hi guys, if you're new, my name is Lottie, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be filming a summer recap video, and I know it's October, and I should have done this video at the end of summer, but better late than never, right? A lot of you guys, um, I asked on my Instagram for some video requests, and a lot of you guys still wanted to see this summer recap video, so I thought I might as well go ahead and make it. I did some vlogs this summer, like my first day, work week in my life, so I'll link that stuff down below if you want to see more of like what my day-to-day -day life was like. So I'm just going to go through your questions and answer them. I want to say thank you to anyone who submitted a question. I'm going to try to answer as many as I can. I just want to say thanks if you took the time to submit a question. It really means a lot. I love seeing all of your different names and like where you're from and everything like that when I go through. If you're new here, I'm going to give a little bit of background. Um, my name is Lottie and I'm currently a senior at the University of Georgia in Athens, Georgia, studying public relations in the Grady College of Journalism and Mass Communications. It's a mouthful, but I've got it down at this point. My two minors are entrepreneurship and public affairs communications. They're technically not minors here at UGA though, they're certificates. It's essentially the same thing, but a lot of times the certificates um, will have an entire certificate program built out um, with a lot of great resources. The reason I mention it is because over the summer, so the summer between my junior and senior year in college, I interned with the Coca-Cola company in Atlanta, Georgia. So I was in the Coca-Cola North America office and I was with the public affairs and communications department. So the reason I mentioned my certificates is that one of them is public affairs communications. So um, it was a great fit for me to apply for this role in the public affairs and communications department at Coca-Cola. Okay, now that we have that background kind of out of the way, I also wanted to mention, I did make videos on how I prepare for internship interviews and that video is how I prepared for my semi-finalist interview for the Coke internship. So if you do want to see how I prepared for my interview, that's a really great vlog. If you haven't seen like two or three of my vlogs consecutively from the spring semester, you might have missed like how I got this internship. So I just wanted to do this video also to kind of just clarify it and have it all in one place for anyone looking for more information. So a ton of the questions are about the application process. Um, someone asked what was the application like? Did you apply on the Coke website? What was the application process like? Was it super complicated? How did you hear about it? Was the interview process long? How can you apply? Best tips for applying? So a lot of the questions are just about the whole application process. So I thought first I would just kind of give an overview of the application and the application process and how I found this position. Oh, also I'm wearing this Cherry Coke shirt today, if you guys noticed. I thought I would be on brand for the video. Yeah, so how I found this internship. Like I said, I am a senior here at the University of Georgia and the Public Affairs and Communications Department within Coca-Cola North America recruits two summer interns every summer. So those two interns are both recruited through Grady College. So one spot is reserved for someone from the big pool of Grady juniors that apply. And then the other spot is reserved for someone who goes through ADPR Academy. So I will link the website to ADPR Academy down below in the description box. My fellow intern, my partner in crime for the summer, her name was Brianna. She secured her position through ADPR Academy. Brianna goes to Spelman University in Atlanta, Georgia. So um, I'll just leave all the info for ADPR Academy down below. You don't have to be a UGA student to attend. So if you're not a student at Grady College, unfortunately, that's the only other spot open for you for this specific position. However, there are tons of internship positions with Coca-Cola. There were probably about 70 interns over the summer at the headquarters in Atlanta and so many of them were from tons of different schools like Georgia Tech, Ohio State, UNC, Emory. There weren't that many from Georgia. They recruit a lot from Ohio State. If your school isn't one of the schools that Coke targets for recruiting for these internships, it doesn't mean you can't get a position. I know other interns who were able to land positions through their connections, so definitely also networking and just reaching out, seeing if your college has Coca-Cola student ambassadors is a great way to kind of just network and get your foot in the door with Coke. Connect with your career center and see if there's any way they can reach out to Coke to make sure that Coca-Cola is recruiting from your school. Things like that um, are definitely other ways to do it. So that's a little bit about how they recruit. I know I have so many amazing PR students that message me from across the country saying like, how do I get this internship? And I was just really fortunate to have been able to have been recruited through my college. So those are a few of the ways I would recommend getting your foot in the door if you're interested in a position like this. So the application process. First, I got an email from my career consultant within Grady College. I get emails like this all the time with different internship opportunities. So definitely a pro tip is to make sure you're plugged in with your career center and signed up for all their 
email list because there's so many amazing opportunities that come through your inbox and that company is specifically looking for students from your college or university. So definitely take advantage of that. So I got an email from her saying that Coca-Cola was looking for a summer intern. So the email just outlined the responsibilities of the position, what kind of skills they were looking for in an intern, and the kind of like general requirements to apply. They were specifically looking for a junior and um, it was open to all majors within Grady College, but they were most interested in PR students, public relations. So I am a PR student. I was like, okay, check, check. I'm a junior, I'm a PR major. Let's keep it going. So what we had to do was submit our resume, a cover letter, two writing samples, and your relevant coursework with your grades next to each class. I put a little packet together. I think we had to turn in two of each. I got two like professional looking folders, put my resume in there on resume paper, cover letter on resume paper. A cover letter is one page. If you guys wanna see a whole video about cover letters, let me know. But resume, one page, cover letter, one page. And then my relevant coursework was on one page. I think I printed it all on resume paper, honestly, just to make it feel nice. And then my two writing samples. So I formatted the two writing samples exactly the same. I think just having everything look really nice and be presented in a professional manner is really important. So I had those two folders and I turned those in to my Grady career consultant who had initially sent the email. We had to turn in our documents to her office and then I think she just passed them along. I just kind of like sent it off and hoped for the best. I got an email saying that I had been selected as a semi-finalist for this position. So I was seriously over the moon excited. I was at home when I got the email with my mom and my dad and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. We were all so excited. So that was such a great feeling and it was just nice to be able to share that excitement with them. They chose, I believe it was nine students. So the semifinalist interviews were held on campus. All of the interviews were individuals. You went into a room and it was just you and the interviewers. So there were two interviewers and both were from the PAC team directly. So not from the HR team, which is honestly so nice because it feels a little less like stressful. It was the woman who ended up being my boss, who is the best. And then also just someone else from the PAC team who actually ended up not being with the team anymore when I got there. But but she was great to meet, great to talk to during the interview. And it was a really casual interview, very conversational. I brought my resume with me and just kind of like went through my resume with them, talked about why I was a great fit. They told me at the end of the semi-finalist round that they were going to select three people to move on to finalist rounds. And that round would be held in Atlanta at the main Coke headquarters. I pretty much knew within I think like a week or so that I had a finalist interview and I literally flipped out. There's so many talented people at Grady and so it was definitely like tough competition. I couldn't believe it really. So in preparation for the Atlanta interview, um, I had to prepare. They gave me like a writing assignment and I'm not going to talk too much about that just because I think that that could change from year to year. It totally depends on the position, everything like that. So I interviewed on a Wednesday and the Tuesday of that week I had a Skype interview with two people on the brand PR team that weren't going to be in the office. On Wednesday, I went to Atlanta for the finalist round interview, which was so cool. It was an experience I'll never forget. So we all had three different interviews we went through when we were there with three different groups of people from the team. We just kind of like rotated around, if that makes sense. My first interview went really well. It was probably like 30, 45 minutes. I want to say 30. Then my second uh, interview that was the interview I had with the woman who ended up being my boss So I had already you know interviewed with her during semi-finalist rounds. So in that interview we presented our writing samples and our um, assignment. They asked me questions about why I did what I did, why I chose what I chose, gave me feedback, things like that. So that was really great. And then my third interview was with the two people that are really at like the top of the chain, I guess. Two of the like highest level leaders within the pack team. So I didn't realize that at the time, but thought it just all went really well. That was kind of my interview process and experience. It was so cool to get to see the office. We got a little like tour of the campus, which was really cool, which ended up being my like summer home. I want to say it was two weeks exactly after my interview in Atlanta. I got a phone call from the woman who had been interviewing me the whole time who ended up being my boss and she called me and she said that they wanted to offer me the position. I have this on camera, not the call itself, but like as soon as I got off the call, I started vlogging. So um, I'll link that vlog down below too. Yeah, I was freaking out. I was like crying, calling my mom and like, hey guys, my camera cut off. So I'm picking back up. I like filmed the whole video and just realized that it just stopped filming like halfway through. So love that. Anyways, I started on May 20th and ended on August 9th. So it was 12 weeks and it was just the best summer ever. So that's about a little bit about the application process. I know so many of your questions were just all about 
the application process and what it's like and how to apply. And so that is kind of like how I got it. So now I'm gonna go through more specific questions. Katie asks, what was the hardest part of the corporate world to get used to? For me, it really wasn't like a difficult transition to the corporate world. I guess I did have like expectations going in and some of those were definitely not true. I think the really mainly tough adjustment was just working nine to five and sitting at a desk all day and looking at a screen all day. I didn't necessarily do that all day every day. As my schedule got busier and I got more assignments, I went to more meetings and had things that like broke up my day. But that first week I really did sit at my desk a lot. There were no other interns there yet. Most of the interns started two weeks after me. There weren't like any intern activities yet or anything either. So I would like eat lunch at my desk that was definitely like a hard transition at the beginning, but that's gonna be the case with any job, not just the corporate world. Um, I've had that issue at other internships before. But as for like a corporate world, I think I went in expecting, you know, a lot of like serious people and that are like super highly skilled and like business suits and that they like wouldn't be that friendly. That is so not the case at Coke. The culture they foster there is so amazing and really surprised me in the best kind of way. Everyone is so friendly and approachable and helpful and it's just a, like a very open wonderful learning environment and there's so much like cross collaboration between teams the brand PR team that I worked heavily on would collaborate a lot with like the IMC team which is integrated marketing campaigns because it's so big and it's like the main headquarters I also thought that I wouldn't see that many people that I knew around campus but every time I would like go down to the cafe to get a coffee or go to the lunchroom I would pass someone that I had been in the meeting with or had met before and we would wave hello and it was just just like very friendly environment and that's something I really loved about the corporate culture that Coke has really fostered. I know it's not gonna be the case in every corporate environment, but it was great. Erin asks, did they offer you a full-time position after graduation? And that's a great question. I've been getting that question from friends and family, so I totally see why you asked that. Unfortunately for communications field, it's pretty uncommon to be offered a position with your company you interned with at the end of the summer. Communications teams in general just don't plan that far in advance for hires. The team I worked with is definitely a very select team that is extremely skilled and talented and has been working in the industry. There's really just aren't that many entry level positions in communications within the company. Erin asked, would you want to pursue a career with Coca-Cola? So to kind of go along with that, I definitely would. I'd love to work there one day. I had the most amazing experience this summer. Typically they don't hire entry level students like right out of college for their team. It'll just depend on if like a position were to open up that I thought would be a good fit for me. I got a few questions asking what was your favorite part or what did you enjoy most about your internship? This is so hard to answer, um, but I would honestly say the people were the best part of my internship. The amazing mentors, the people on my team, the other interns. We also got to network with leaders. We got to network with other professionals within the company through business resource groups. So there is a women's link business resource group where I got to network with other women within the Coca-Cola company. There's also a Millennial Voices business resource group where I got to network with other young professionals. Everyone, like I said, was so friendly, so approachable, so willing to help. And I'm so thankful for that because having a good team really can like make all the difference. Amanda asked if this internship was paid. So yes, it was paid. I had never been paid for an internship before. So this was a first. Um, I'm not gonna say what I made, but it was um, an hourly wage. So that was amazing. Hey guys, I wanted to come on my webcam really quickly because I answered this question when I initially filmed the video, but it got cut off and then I forgot to answer it again. And I got a few of the same kind of question like this, so I wanted to address it quickly. The question is like, what PR stuff did you do? Press releases, social, content creation, campaigns. What were the daily tasks you were expected to do? Things like that. I know a lot of you might be confused about what exactly my role was on the PAC team and what I did. So I really just supported all of the different teams with any projects they needed. I primarily supported the brand PR team because that is something I'm really interested in. So I really leaned into those projects and would ask for more work from that team just because that's something that I have experience in and I have had classes on and I'm interested in and I really love. So with the brand PR team, a lot of the work that I would do was working on pitch decks. I never like came up with a campaign, but I would assist on campaigns. So I assisted on Dasani's largest sustainability announcement in brand history. So I made fact sheets for that. I also made a video to be used internally for the new Coke and Stranger Things partnership that basically outlined all of the earned media coverage that the partnership got. I helped a lot with Zico Coco Refresh at Miami Swim Week. I worked a lot with mainly Dasani, Smartwater, Zico, Dunkin', a lot of the hydration coffee tea brands. 
So that's kind of what I worked on with the brand PR team, mainly just helping with a lot of multimedia assets too. So making decks look nice, adding closed captioning to videos that would be played for the entire company. I made a graphic design map of all of the Coca-Cola North America locations. Every week, Brianna and I would write The Fizz, which was a weekly newsletter that went out to the PAC team every Friday that kind of briefed the news from that week in PR, marketing, social media, digital, and the beverage battleground, as well as just other relevant news. So that was really fun. We worked on that collaboratively each week. I think it's important to have a communications background when you're doing graphic design that's like fact sheets and one pagers, because you need to know how to write the copy in the one page or not just design it and make it sound good so I did a lot of writing within my graphic design work too but those are just a few of the examples of things that I did no two days were the same but I hope that kind of helps clear that up so yes Michelle asks, what did you do to be the best intern you could be? And I love this question. What I really did to stand out as an intern, I think if you run out of work, go ask for more, see what else you can do. I really live by the philosophy. I have like three quotes. There's go the extra mile. It's never crowded. You get what you give. So you really get out and experience what you put into it. So really just bringing your whole self to work every day, uh, asking questions, being engaged, listening, bringing energy and positivity and enthusiasm to everything you do. And then my last quote is like, you can't get what you don't ask for. So really like asking for the work that you want to lean into. I definitely recommend if you're an intern to set goals, set up actionable steps to meet those goals. So for me, a goal was like to learn more about budgets and campaign budgets. So I set up meetings with different people on the team to hear from them on that. It meant so much to me that some of them took 20, 30 minutes out of their day to talk through budgets with me. You wanna be able to take advantage of all of the expertise at your fingertips. So I don't know, those are a few of my tips on how to be the best intern. I could give you like an hour long video with advice on that if you guys wanted to see it. Okay, Erin asked what was your biggest takeaway? I made a whole presentation at the end of my internship and I went through all the things I was able to do and then I went through my 10 like biggest key learnings or takeaways. And as cheesy as it is, my last key learning was we don't remember days, we remember moments. And this is a quote that you see if you visit the world of Coke. I just had so many incredible moments throughout the summer. Um, there were intern activities we got to go on. So we got to go to the Coke Coca-Cola plant tour. We went to an intern Braves game. My friends and I rode bird scooters from the office to the aquarium after work one day. I think from like a professional standpoint though, to answer your question, um, is just that this really further solidified to me that this is something I'm passionate about, something I would want to do. So that's pretty much going to be it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you're not already. I would love to have you. I love reading all of your comments and I'm going to try to answer as many of them as I can down below. So definitely leave a comment if um, you have any questions or video requests. Definitely filming vlogs a lot right now, but if you have anything other than vlogs that you want to see, please let me know and I'll put it on my list. I'm super grateful for everything in my life from Coke to you guys and I'm so just, I'm just in the best mood today. So I hope you all are having a good day too. With that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.